Milo, great ballad. If you don't know this song, well, you'll know. So let's get started. We are going to study the acoustic live version of this song. And the capo here is on the fourth fret. Everything is played with open chords. You need to know them before going any further. The chords are A minor, F, G, C. E and E7. The chord pattern is changing from time to time during the song, but the rhythm with your right hand is always the same. Here we only use our fingers, and most of the time, the thumb that's the way that Milo does the song when he's playing live. Let's break it down since so it's downstroke. Hit. Hit, up, and that's all. Very really simple, you do that for the whole song. The clinking noise you can hear is actually the strings hitting the frets. To reproduce that sound, you hit the strings with the palm of your hand, like that. Also, there's a hammer on you can make with your major on F and C for the intro, the bridge, and for the verses. It's at the very beginning of the chords every time. It basically sounds like this. You do that for F and C only, not for the other chords. For F, the hammer on is on the second fret of the third string, and for C, it's just above it. Let's move on to the intro. I would play it slowly A minor, F, G. We'll see later that for the rest of the song, the first four or five chords are always the same, but the end of the pattern changes from time to time. So let's begin with the first verse. You start with the same chords. A minor, F, G. After that, you go back to A minor this time, and you play the same succession of chords as the intro. And go. So you play this pattern twice for the first verse, for the second and for the third verse you play it just once, the first time actually. And for the second part of the second verse instead of C and E it's E7 and E, it sounds like this. Nothing too hard, it sounds seems surreal, I feel peculiar, now what do you feel? Do you think there's a chance that we can fall? The second time for the third verse you basically replace C and E by E7 only. So we're a G and then it's baby 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 you don't know. You switch to the chorus. Speaking of chorus, the first one is very short and the chord pattern quite similar to the rest of the song, but the end is different again. Let me play that for you. You don't know. So at the end, after F, you play E, directly. You've noticed there's no hammer on this time. The second chorus is entirely similar to the second verse, but this time without hammer on. Let me play it just to remind you how it's done. A minor, F, G, A minor, F, G, C, This 
one is really easy to play. It's like that. It's three chords only. So it's F, G, C, C, F, G, C. And that's all. The third chorus is longer than the only ones. And the only differences appear at the end of the chords pattern every time. So it's... You don't know, you don't know, you don't know anything but me. G, C, E. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know anything. G, F, F again. Go back to A minor. and E and this is the end of the song if you don't like playing with your fingers you can try with a pick it will sound a bit like the studio version it's up to you to decide whatever sounds best I like both actually there's a tab of this song below this video if you feel lost. Now you know, you don't know. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you love me. And see you next time. Bye.